Raylan, where are you going? Going to school. It'll be fun. Uh, do you have a slobber rag, Raylan? No, you do not. That might be kind of important. Yeah, that might be kind of important. We'll get that. Interesting little first day hiccup with summer school. Um, I just drove Raylan there. And the entrance I normally take, I got through the parking lot and there was a row of cones before I could get to the building. So I backed up, I went a different entrance and there was actually caution tape, like you drive a ways up a driveway. Then there's caution tape again, so I can't get to the building. Well, the person in front of me turned around, but the other person just off-roaded it and drove on the grass. And it was a fairly flat area of grass. So I just off-roaded it and drove on the grass. They're like, they're cleaning the asphalt. Like it's just dust everywhere. Um, I don't know what they're getting ready to do to the asphalt next, but they're just dusting it, like spraying the dust off of it. There's two other <laughs> exits to the school. I tried both of those to leave so I wouldn't have to drive on the grass. Both blocked off. So they have cars, the school teachers' cars all blocked in, and they have us all blocked off. I don't know how pickup's gonna go. Just a little hiccup. Just a little they were not organized and did not realize that building was getting used today, I guess. I don't know. We'll see when we go pick her up. I would prefer not to drive Raylan's super low riding wheelchair van on grass to get to her spot because of caution tape and cones. I don't see much other choice. I guess I could park on the other one spot. The cones are not too far away from the building. So I think I'll probably just park on the other side of the cones unless they've moved them further away from the building where it's harder to get to that spot and walk to pick her up. Um, I don't know. That was weird. Hopefully she has a good day. She has a nurse there that's seen her seizures but really is not familiar with her. Um, but Raylan is pretty much at her baseline of her normal. I wrote them a little one page little summaries tip sheet for troubleshooting with obviously Chris and I's cell phone number and we literally are a two minute drive from the school. We can be over there in two minutes and I told them like we're, our phones are on, <laughs> we're in town, call us if you need us. You know, when in doubt, just call us. So hopefully that's what they do is they just call us if they need us and they don't try to move her or anything. Like I said, she's her stable self. There's a nurse. I'm not, I'm not too concerned. But yeah, if a nurse doesn't know Raylan, they're gonna have questions sometimes. Anyways, I'm off to not have Raylan for a couple hours. Kind of weird. Two hours later. Going to pick up Raylan from summer school class. She just has like a two and a half hour morning class. Several mornings this summer. They're doing a lot of them. They're kind of spread out. Like they'll have them for two weeks and they have a break and then they have them for two weeks and have a break. Just four, four days a week, four mornings a week, which is so nice. It just helps the students that go to school normally. It keeps them from having too long of a break and getting out of their routine too much. But uh, for Raylan, it's the only time she gets to go to school because there is a nurse that's able to be in the building where she is the whole time she's in school, which is great. Makes us a little nervous because the nurse is not super familiar with Raylan, but Raylan's pretty stable at her baseline and we literally are two minutes from the school. So uh, we feel okay with it because we're two minutes from the school. Oh, and it's a good nurse. We do trust her to call us. But um, I'm trying to see which way will let us go in. I don't know. The school is blocked off weird. I'll show you guys what's going on. It is odd. I don't know where they want us to go to pick up the kids. I really don't. I am not sure where they want us to go. Because last time I literally drove on the grass. They're like oiling it here. I guess I could park here and walk there. I don't know. It looks like there's a pathway. I'm, I think I'm gonna park. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna park and walk. 
here. So I see them looking for me. So I'm gonna get out and go get it, Raylan. See what we got going on here? I don't know. I was like, I don't even know. Did you have fun at school? We had to navigate that silly pavement, Raylan. Okay, you're all buckled in. We're gonna let the school bus behind us go and then we're gonna go, okay? I heard you got to pet a bunny today. A bunny rabbit that was nice and soft. Did you like the bunny? You liked your nurse. You were just staring at her and smiling. She's pretty fun. We got Raylan. The school bus is backing up. No one knew how to get in here to pick up the kids. I did have to wheel Raylan over some lines of asphalt oil. They left like a little walkway. It's not good for wheelchair tires, but we made it. Now we're headed home and Miss Raylan had a great time at school, I think. <sighs> but you ready to go in, Raylan? You ready to go in? Did you have a good day at school? You're smiling a little, but you're not gonna talk to me. I'm gonna get you out. We're gonna go in. I gotta do some errands. We'll see if dad and you wanna come too, or you're gonna stay home. I don't know. Let's go tell dad about your day. That you got to pet a bunny.